At the time of recording this, the Onion team have just recently released the release candidate for version 4.1 of Onion OS, which means that the actual release is going to be just around the corner. So I thought this would be a good time to look at the features and see what's new in version 4.1. The package manager has had a slight change to the way it works, or specifically, the way you navigate and select things. In package manager, you would previously use the D-pad to move between the different sections, such as the verified game platforms, their apps, and the expert section. In version 4.1, that has changed, and using the D-pad will simply turn the toggle on and off for whatever you happen to be sitting on. To move between the main sections within the package manager, you now use the L2 and R2 buttons. It lets you know this at the top of the list, but does so in the smallest font size I think I've ever seen in my life. It's a change, but I'm not sure why, and personally I'm not sure if it's for the better. It seemed pretty intuitive the way it was before, but it's a change and something you should be aware of. In the previous version of Onion, there was a music player. Version 4.1 also adds an ebook reader, PDF reader, and a video player. I haven't tested any of these as the thought of watching a video or trying to read a document of any sort on the Mio Mini's tiny screen is a complete non-starter for me. There's also another new option to list shortcuts. And honestly, despite the description for this option, I'm still struggling to work out when I would use it or why. RetroArch is now using version 1.14 rather than the newly released 1.15, which to be honest is no big surprise as that's only just come out in the last few days. But version 4.1 now has more cores than before and quite a few cores have also been updated. The theme section has had a bit of a refresh with some new options available, with the PS1s in particular looking good. In the apps section, there is now a new option called Random Game, which when you select it does exactly what you expect it to do, and plays a random game from the library of games you have installed. It's an interesting idea, but personally I can't see myself using it, but I'm sure there must be people who will find it a great addition. More languages and translations have been added for non-English speakers. The button shortcuts seem to have taken a bit of a step backwards, with the ability to put a shortcut on the Y button now no longer available as an option, and some of the things you could assign to the shortcuts are also missing. In addition, the options to assign a shortcut to the X button seems to freeze when you scroll through and get to tweaks. I've found 4.1 to be pretty stable, but not 100%, but a couple of freezes as well as a crash due to an unexpected error. These are worth mentioning, but not something I'm overly worried about, as the Onion team seem pretty good at squashing bugs and ironing out problems very quickly. And if I had any idea how or where to inform the Onion team of the issues I've come across, I'd do so, in case they aren't aware of them. So if you know, then let me know in the comments section below. All in all, it's a gradual evolution of what is a very popular front end for the Miu Mini, rather than a huge leap forward. And some of the changes, such as the ebook reader, PDF reader, and video player, feel like they're trying to expand the scope of what the Miu Mini is and can do. If you like Onion OS, then it's a no brainer to upgrade to this new version. And if you've held back from using it, then this is probably the ideal time to give it a try. And if you found this video useful, then don't forget to like and subscribe.